do you see in this is, that's valuable? Well, the first thing that I see in it is they're involved. That they, they, it's a way to be creative. It's a way to, to open your mind, mm -hmm. you know, to accept therapy mm -hmm. without it being therapy. Uh -huh. um, and just realizing that you can do something. If it's something as simple as holding a paintbrush mm -hmm. and painting across the paper you know, even before you get to the whole picture and see it come together as you do these different things. So, so every, we just sneak the therapy in there. <laughs> yeah, everything that he does is um, reaffirming. Mm -hmm. But yet at the same time, it's, it's therapeutic, mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's building those new neurons, those new pathways. Um, but I think it, it also, as I was mentioning earlier, I think it's a fantastic um, diagnostic tool. Um, I, in fact, I think it could possibly, um, what's the word, it could possibly, it's as good, if not better, than some that we already have. I think it's much more um, approachable for the residents um, they will be being tested without really realizing it. Um, and it's, it's very, it's the word not tellative, but it, it, it really tells you a lot about the person. Uh, every which way, even psychologically, it tells you a lot about them. What you're dealing with, the attitudes, the, 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 um, lack of self-worth or self-ability and this reaffirms all that. Yeah, even though it's not a psychological process, still right. we're getting information that is valuable. Very much so, very much so. And so why don't you tell us what your background is and why you know so much about this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a speech-language pathologist, so I work with people um, who have uh, all kinds of neurological deficits due to, you know, different uh, etiologies, uh, CVAs, um, strokes, uh, uh, TBI, which is traumatic brain injury, mm -hmm. Parkinson's, you know, any of the neurologic diseases. Um, what else? Motor vehicle accidents. Mm -hmm. Just, just anything that could cause brain damage. Mm -hmm. Um, and those are the people we work with too. Exactly, the Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's actually a thing, art therapy for Alzheimer's, that has been proven that it, it really brings them out mm -hmm. and it helps them a lot. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, I do, I have the same goals as you have mm -hmm. with my patients. Um, it's just a little bit different way to get there and um, it's less informal, mm -hmm. it's more personal. And it has the ability to make family members happy. <laughs> yes. Because they're, they're in the process too. And when you can give them a little bit of light in a very dark disease. Yes, so true. It's like, yes, there's still something going on in there. It's still, look, that's still my guy. Yeah. Or gal. Yeah. Thank you so much.